Hi there! NVIDIA has announced a new groundbreaking application called Gunther 3D with an unspecified release date for now, which can uh, render uh, 3D models from a single 2D photo, like the Knight Rider car, ready for use in uh, NVIDIA Omniverse. But that is not all. The 3D model includes texture, photorealistic texture, and it can also be animated in seconds at the click of a button. How does it work? There are two main parts uh, to Gander 3D. First, it uses a generative adversarial network, aka GAN, to generate photorealistic images of an object in 2D with a fixed number of viewpoints. It then feeds these images to train a state-of-the-art inverse graphics neural network, which was also previously developed by NVIDIA. Its name is Dibar. Dibar then serves as the inferencing engine to generate 3D models with texture from a single 2D image. And what is an inverse graphics network? An inverse graphics network, put simply, is a neural network that is able to generate a 3D model with texture and light information from a 2D photo. It is called inverse graphics because we are trying to do the opposite of what is normally done in computer graphics, which is to convert a 3D model to a 2D image that is then rendered onto a screen. But could we not uh, convert 2D to 3D last year? Well, that's true. This is so last year, almost like old news. But what Ganverse brings to the table is higher quality 3D models. Previously, AI models were trained using uh, ShapeNet, a synthetic data set of 3D models. Problem with that being that synthetic models, I mean cartoon-like models, is that when you train on them, the neural network is going to be better at predicting the 3D shape of cartoon-like objects. And it is not going to do so well when applied to real photos. ShapeNet was created because creating a large enough data set of 3D models with textures of photorealistic objects is too expensive. ShapeNet solves the problem of quantity, but unfortunately not quality. To improve on this, uh, newer AI models use the Pascal 3D dataset and the CUB BIRD dataset for training. The, the Pascal 3D and the CUB BIRD dataset consist of a set of photos of cars and birds that were uh, manually annotated containing just enough information to use an algorithm that can calculate the position of the camera, which is also called the viewpoint. This then helps the AI model when deriving the 3D structure. There are relatively few datasets available like this, so the quality of the 3D models generated by the models trained using these datasets is quite limited because of the amount of data. We all know that StyleGAN2 can generate crazy realistic images of almost anything. People, fish, cars, horses, cartoons, and the list goes on and on. And it can render them in different perspectives. But the problem is that because the images are not annotated, there is no way to know where the camera viewpoint is. But wait a minute. What if there is a way to know? If there is a way to know, suddenly we can generate large datasets for us to feed the DBAR neural network. And in this way, we could train amazing 3D models from 2D photos for almost any type of object. We would no longer be limited to generating birds or just cars, right? So NVIDIA has cracked this. If you have heard about style guns before, you might know that it is possible to control certain properties of a generated image using a latent code. This latent code allows us to generate realistic photos of people with certain hair colors, wearing glasses or not, and most importantly, it can also control the camera viewpoint. The reason it hasn't been used so far, according to the paper, and let me straight quote them, is because these latent codes often lack further physical interpretation, and thus GANs cannot be easily inverted to perform explicit 3D reasoning. What this means is that before, NVIDIA researchers didn't really know how to have exact control of the viewpoint, but they have finally figured it out. Let me try to explain it, how they did it. StyleGAN Neural Networks has 16 layers, and every two layers form a block. And it seems that the first two blocks of the GAN control the viewpoint. So with this knowledge, if we fix the first two blocks of the StyleGAN, all the images generated by the GAN will have the exact same viewpoint. Since we have the exact knowledge of the viewpoint, we can immediately annotate each generated image with the annotations required for us to train the inverse graphics network. But Gunverse 3D is not perfect. Firstly, Gunverse 3D currently only generates 3D models and textures for cars, horse, and birds. 
And this limitation is simply because Gunverse 3D was trained only using style guns that can generate this type of objects. Not a big deal, and I expect NVIDIA to include many more classes of objects in the future. Another issue is that Gunverse 3D doesn't seem to generalize very well. Let me explain. If you give a picture of a Batmobile to Gunverse 3D, it gives you back a 3D model of a completely different car. If you give it the picture of a penguin to Gunverse 3D, it gives you back the wrong bird. Definitely not a penguin. This is because the datasets used to train the style guns for Gunverse don't contain penguins or Batmobiles. Hmm, is that meant to be a Batman joke? To use the technical term in the paper, these objects are out of distribution. If you look carefully, you will also notice some oddities in the generated images of, by the gun. For instance, you'll see that the horse is missing its tail. This is mainly an indication that the images used in the training for the gun were front pictures of a horse. Also, Gunverse 3D is not able to separate the lighting from the texture. But even considering all of this, this is a major breakthrough. In the very near future, it is going to become a lot cheaper to create 3D assets for games.